has uh, joined us here in the booth, and we thank you very much for doing that, Coach. Uh, first of all, uh, a really a great, great crowd here following the Wolves here tonight in, in North Charleston. There's no question, Jimmy. I, I mean, you know, we talk about family at Newberry all the time, and you just take a look around here. There's more red here than there is blue. And I was told that, that our people even turned a section of the stands around it wasn't facing the field. They turned it around and filled it up tonight. They did. It was facing whatever that is behind that storage building, and they turned it around. That, that's that's how many people were here. That's when you know Newberry's in town. They just make their own place to sit down. Let's talk about the ball game. I thought the defense played magnificently tonight, particularly in the second half. They stopped Charleston Southern six times and the offense came up with one big touchdown, so they gave them the chance. We just didn't, couldn't get it going offensively. Well, you know, early in the ball game, I thought we made some self-inflicted wounds, so to speak, and we talked all week about the game coming down to a handful of plays. You know, and, and we looked back at halftime, and that was my message. Man, the handful of plays is why we're in the position we're in right now. We busted two coverages in the first half that resulted in the 14 points. If it had not been for the two blown coverages, those points aren't on the board. That's right. And then offensively, we kept jumping the snap count, and, and we did some of that in the second half as well. So we put ourselves in a position, but we also put ourselves in a position to have a chance in the fourth quarter against the fully funded 1AA program. And we came down here to Charleston. A lot of people think that we came down here and got a paycheck. We did not. We came down here and played a fully funded 1AA program straight up after they had a warm-up game and I don't want to say they're lucky, but I, sometimes you got to tip your cap. They've done a good job. Well, I, I really was going to bring that up next. To what kind of a factor is it that they did have a game to play and you had to come down and play this as your first game? And remember, you had two days you couldn't practice because of lightning. Well, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, and I'm not but, trying but, to make excuses, but that makes a difference. It does, Jimmy. You are absolutely right. And the biggest difference that you can see with a program a lot of times is from the first to the second game. That's when you really work the bugs out. You know, they had a warm-up game against the team. I beat them 50 something and nothing last week and and we unfortunately did not have that. We had to come into a hostile environment against a really good team that won 10 ball games last year and try to work all the bugs out. And when it come down to it at the end of the night, those handful of plays that we did not have a chance to work the bugs out on Yes. The bottom line and the positive is, though, that the defense, as we said, played very well, especially in the second half, and you did have a chance to try to win this football game, and that's pretty much all you can ask. That, that's right. You know, in the fourth quarter, I looked at Coach Watson, I said, right where we need to be. Huh? And he smiled. He said, yeah, Coach, we got a chance to win. That's right where we need to be. And, and you know, we you look at us defensively tonight, and you've seen some different things, especially the, the Newberry faithful that follow us all the time. You know, we're, we usually base out of a 4-4 four -four defense, but we're a little thin on the defensive side of the ball when it comes to the DL. So we shifted our look into a three-down lineman right. look to try to put fresh legs on the field as much as we, as we could. And I was a little concerned about the defense, to be quite honest with you, because we were, we were going into a different package that we never went into a ball game saying, okay, this is going to be our base defense. We've used that look before, but it's always been a third down defense for us. But we've converted it into our base package tonight, and our kids, I, I really think, responded just amazingly. A little less concerned now than you might have been before that. Right. All right, let's talk about next week. You get to open the home season next week against a brand new program over at uh, Limestone, uh, but you'll come to Newberry for that. They uh, played earlier today and, and lost to Wingate. So uh, they'll come in to play their first uh, ball game of the uh, of the se of the season uh, at, at Newberry. And I, you know, Jimmy, I, I don't know the score of what the outcome of with with the Wingate game. 38-10. 38-10. That, you know, that, that's that's a pretty good showing for a, a brand new program right out of the gate. And, uh, you know, their head coach and their staff, a lot of them came from Wingate, so I'm sure that, that right there is going to kind of look like an inner squad scrimmage because they're doing a lot of similar things. So that'll be a good thing for us, you know, because they do so many, so many things like wing it. Mm -hmm. You can prepare for both ball games, really, you know, looking at one of them. Well, as a Newberry uh, supporter and fan for many years, it was just great to see so many people make the trip to Charleston. We talked about that. You've got 20 guys on the team who are from this area, and you add all that up with the folks who normally follow the team. And it, I don't know if, if Josh can show you this or not, but there are still a host of Newberry folks out on the field 
as uh, as as we're doing a post game show almost 30 minutes after the ball game is over. That's right. And, and that's, uh, the, that's the Newberry faithful. And, and tonight, I think that was the biggest crowd in the away game that I think I've ever seen. I think and I we, had, we had a huge crowd in the playoff game last season, but I think this one topped it. And, you know, it, it was kind of a, a unique night for me. It was 13 years ago that I coached down here at Charleston exactly. Southern. And I bet you I had 20 old players from Charleston Southern come up to me before and after the game. And, that was really neat to see those guys now when I had them, you know, I called them men, but they were still kids. And now they're out here with their kids. So that was a really neat situation. And you probably me. look younger than they Oh, do. God. <laughs> <laughs> All man. right. Now, that's the last time I was here, as a matter of fact, you were coaching back then as well. Coach, thank you so much for being with us. I know it was a, a tough one, but uh, as you said, the Wolves put themselves in a position to win this, and they lose. 16 to 10. We'll see you next week back at Central well, Field. I promise you, we're going to go back to work, and you know, I hope the Newberry faithful don't give up on us. Let's go back home. You know, the stadium looks just wonderful right now. If you hadn't seen the, the new things that we've done to it, uh, College Street, the, the city of Newberry has really dressed it up for football season. The place looks just amazing, and our kids, after tonight, you know, they're going to have a little sting, but they know the potential that we have, and I, I think our kids are on the verge of, of having a great year. Thanks so much, Coach. We'll see you next week. You. All right, Coach Todd Knight with us on the post game. <laughs>